The sale of Coney Island sparked protests and campaigns to keep the historic Cincinnati Fun Park afloat, but it was a done deal. The Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra and its Music Entertainment Management, Inc. would turn the water park into a $118 million music venue, dubbed Riverbend 2.0. At least $8 million of that could come from the state and taxpayer dollars. That $8 million is from one of the many recommendations of the Hamilton County Capital Prioritization Task Force. The task force recommended dozens of projects to receive tens of millions of dollars. In this letter to Governor Mike DeWine dated January 5th, on behalf of the task force, it says the group asked for funding requests from the community at all levels. It goes on to say applicants were invited to make their pitch between the end of November and December 5th. Now, the deal for Coney Island was not announced until nine days later on December 14th. The task force recommended seeking $20 million from the state for the project, but state leaders only approved $8 million. Here's a look at the people who signed that funding request letter. You've got John Barrett of Western and Southern, Jeff Birding of FC Cincinnati, Phil Castellini from the Reds, Christy Coons from the Urban League, Cincinnati Mayor Aftab Pureball, and Hamilton County Commissioner Alicia Reese, just to name a few. I also reached out to the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra and its subsidiary Music Entertainment Management Inc. to get more information, but so far no one has responded to my request from today or yesterday. Now back to this task force. I'm told its members do not make any policy decisions, but they do make these types of recommendations to lawmakers. I requested an interview to discuss the process of how the task force members come up with these recommendations, but every single person I've reached out to has declined to talk about this. And when I asked how a member of the public, or press for that matter, is supposed to learn more about the process and how this task force operates, or these recommendations, I was told you have to make that request through your lawmaker. That's because the task force has no formal public proceedings. I'm Christian Hauser. Back to you. Hmm, very interesting, Christian. Thank you. And Coney Island isn't the only organization that would get funding. $22 million would go to renovating and rehabbing the Duke Energy Convention Center downtown. More than $13 million for the Cincinnati Open Tennis Tournament. That's formerly the Western and Southern Open. Xavier and UC would also get $4 and $8 million respectively. Now that this funding has been approved in the House, it needs to go to the Ohio Senate. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.